hi everyone welcome to my channel Adia your best predict in today's video we'll be discussing about how you can analyze odds understand probabilities and implied odds in today's video i'm going to put you guys through the process of how you can apply the understanding of odds in your analysis of games you know there are some things about odds that many people don't know and that is what we are going to discuss in this particular video so application of this can also improve the outcome and the probability of your winnings now the first thing that you need to do is some calculation that's i'm sure some people don't know that some of our mathematical methods in our secondary school days they are very useful are uh, useful to us in some aspect of uh aspect of most of our everyday life activities so now the first thing that we need to do is to have a particular game let us assume some games and let us quickly do some calculation on it and i'm going to show you guys something about this now let us go to our, our football menu and i'm going to make use of over 1.5 uh betting strategy and i'm going to apply that in the analysis of our odds in today's video okay now i want to i want to use much of our time on this particular analysis it's a very simple method of analysis and i'm going to quickly do it on the first game that we are having on this particular football menu and the game is under australia league and i'm going to predict the over 1.5 of the game so the first thing i need to do is to check the stats so we are going there uh the first thing let us you want to predict your game and you want to apply the odds to it now going to the air to head new if you check the percentage of the possible outcome of the over 1.5 here you can see that this is 76 and this is 54 for the over 2.5 goals now let us assume that i want to go for this game as over 1.5 now let us check the market like the odd that the bookmakers are providing for the market okay now this is the odd for the over 1.5 of the game which is 1.17 but unfortunately sometimes the bookmakers can use odd to deceive us but most times they to their company that are willing to make profit and most times they to they are always careful of the odd that they provide for each market now this is 1.17 and if you want to know the probability or the percentage of the possible outcome of the game as over 1.5 this is how we are going to do it now let us move on to our calculator and let's quickly do some analysis very very simple analysis and let's quickly do that don't forget the odd is 1.76 for over 1.5 now let's check now if you want to do your analysis like if you want to do the evaluation the percentage of the odd that the bookmakers are providing don't forget we are having 1.17 as the odd for over 1.5 now before what you just need to do is that you just have to do like this one divided by 1.17 are you getting this one divided by 1.17 1.17 is the odd for the over 1.5 market that we want to predict so you just said one divided by 1.17 times 100 you see the three figures so the only external figures that you are going to be introducing uh is just the one which will be divided by 1.17 which is the odd for the market of over 1.5 and the multiplication of 100 for the percentage and here is the outcome of the actual possible outcome of the game which is 85 percent if you check this 85 percent that the outcome of the game will be uh, over 1.5 actually for me sometimes 85 percent is not something that's you know when you have something like 85 percent there's probability that the game may not even come the way you want it because the 50 percent that is you know missing uh it can do a great damage to outcome of a game sometimes now for people that always want to apply this particular strategy or maybe probably straight winning or double chance now let us check that also so let us check the straight draw or winning of this particular game you know for the home team the bookmakers are giving 2.85 for the home team 2.25 for the home team let us check uh the team that have the high probability of winning this particular game okay 
if you check this particular stat very well, you can see that both teams are kind of really informed, kind of they are informed, and but the away team actually they are in, in more form compared to that of the home team. And when we are checking about the league position, we can see that the away team is currently leading on the league position. Now, this is another aspect that we are going to check. Their last previous meeting, who has been winning mostly? And probably the, their current form, we have already sold that, um, that one out. Now, let's just check their previous meeting. The away team, which is uh, Wellington, and uh, check their last game. The away team won while playing at away. And, uh, and the rest game, I think Newcastle... Most times they always win the game. Most times, so this game can be a very tough game to be sincere, and it can also end up in draw. Now let us check the analysis of the odd. Let us assume that we want to support the home team to win this particular game at odd of 2.20. Let us check the percentage of the possible outcome. That okay, definitely the away team is going to win this game. So you say you say one divided by two. 0.20 times 100 so this is the percentage or let me say the possible outcome that the away team is going to win this particular match games like this are like taking risks you know we already know that sometimes betting requires it's it's all about risk taking but it deals with sensible taking sensible risk you know you know taking risk that you know that when you take it uh, the outcome if it is possible uh, positive or negative you won't be uh, in problem so that is what you call what i mean by sensible risk so that first five percent is the possible outcome that the away team is going to win this particular match okay now checking the percentage that the bookmakers are giving now i think the bookmakers are suggesting that uh the percentage of the away team to win is 43 even 45 and 43 i'm not really sure that in this kind of games they are very hard game to predict and if you are taking risk please kindly make sure that whenever you are betting bet with a month that you can afford to lose make sure that you are applying responsible gambling so thanks to you guys uh, thanks for watching guys and if you like our content please kindly click on the like button and subscribe if you are just joining us so in the next video i'm going to show you guys the calculation of odds there are some people that always target a particular odd like maybe every day they want to be picking just five five odds or maybe every day they want to be picking 13 odds and we have some people that are only interested in daily two odds and we have people that are interested in large odds but if you have are staking on games so i always advise people to always have their own fixed odd like odd that will be fixed like they will be having every day like they will be sticking on every day so that it will also help them in their financial management in when it comes to betting now what one thing that people can always do is that to know the calculation of odds how they can calculate like to know the certain number of odds that will be accumulated before they can arrive at their desired odd so that is what we are going to discuss in the next video so guys Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye.